In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a custom stacked wall. In Revit, you'll see that there's different wall families that we'll use that are system wall families that are provided in the project. But in some projects, you'll need to create some stacked walls where you may have one wall type that stacks on top of another. So we're going to get started with that. On our architectural tab, we're just going to still come down to our walls, our architectural walls. And then you'll see by default Revit in your project is going to give you a stacked wall type. By default, I'm seeing my exterior brick over CMU on metal stud wall type. Um, you may have another type, but by default, your default template will have at least this wall type. So I'm going to click on this wall. The first thing I'm going to do just while I'm in my 3D view, I'll just leave it here, but I'm going to go ahead and just click and add a little bit of this wall so that I have some active wall in my project. And you'll see if I just rotate with my view steering cube and zoom in on a little bit on this wall, you'll see you can actually see the CMU over brick wall type here in the project. So we're going to create another wall type. So let's just click on this. And I'm going to come over here to edit type in my properties menu. The key here with this system family stacked wall is we want to make sure that we don't overwrite the properties of the existing wall that we have in the project. So we're just going to create a new one. So I'm going to come over to duplicate. And I'm actually going to make sure that we create a different exterior wall. So we're going to rename this and we're going to create an EFIS over metal stud or EFIS over CMU on metal stud wall. I'm sorry. I'm just going to get rid of the number two. Don't need that. And we'll click OK. Now we've changed and created a brand new wall type that we need to modify here. But any stack wall that you have in a project will start with duplicating what's in the project by default. I'm going to click on Edit Structure. This is the Edit Assembly menu that you'll see it brings us to next. And you'll see what's in here by default is left over from the brick over CMU wall type that we started from. You always see the wall types that you started from. The first thing I want to do is make sure that we insert a different wall type that we may need. So when I click on insert, it'll allow me to add a third wall type if I had three different wall types that I wanted to stack in this example. But we know we just have two. So the first thing I want to do is just click on this drop down and you'll see we have our EFIS on metal stud wall type that we'll want to use for this. And like I said, if we had three, I could specify the height, the offset, and so forth. But I want to make sure that we go ahead and get rid of the brick. So I'm going to click on this brick. I'm going to delete that. Now, right now, you'll see, let's make sure that we use our preview button so that we can take a look at what we have in a section view. This is really critical to make sure you have this view set to section so that you can see how this wall is stacking. Right now you can see there's actually a brick is actually over top of the EFIS wall. Let's go ahead and flip that. So I'm going to change the variable wall type and I'm actually going to make that my EFIS type. And then I'm going to change the one below to be my brick on metal stud. And now you can see, we'll see underneath, we have our brick as we were trying to create. I could change this to CMU if that's what we were looking. I guess we said an EFIS over CMU. So let's make sure that this is our CMU on metal stud wall type that we have down here at the bottom. And because we let, let's make this go all the way up to maybe the second story of this building. So I'm just going to go here is where we would change the height for that base wall type. And I'm going to give it 10 feet. Just hit enter. And our offsets are going to be fine. Uh, you can see through the section and you can always click on this section and zoom in just to make sure that things are lining up properly. 
That's why this view over here becomes a really important preview section view. But now we have our EFIS over CMU wall type created here. If we wanted to specify offsets, here's where we would specify whether that offset is from the finish face on the exterior or the interior and so forth. Let's just click OK. I'm going to click OK again. And now you can see we have our CMU base that is 10 feet high. And then we have our EFIS wall that is going to continue to be that variable wall. Variable meaning no matter how high I change the height, that EFIS wall is always going to remain continuous no matter how many stories we raise. So we would want to make sure that we add the components that we need and leave the top variable so that that component wall will continue to grow to meet the height of our exterior envelope. So just for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to tab through and select all of my existing walls of this building. And now that we've created that stack wall type, it will appear on the list as well. So now you see we have two stack wall types down in this category and we'll just click on this EFIS over CMU on metal stud wall type that we created. And now I can get rid of this little piece of sample wall that we used to build it from. And you'll see we are able to, in any instance where you're able to use a stack wall in your project, rather than stacking independent individual walls on top of each other, is beneficial as we cut curtain wall or as we create openings. It allows us to have one wall to deal with and to manipulate as long as the design of that exterior envelope allows for us to use a stack wall. I hope this video has been very helpful for you.